The Pitt Panthers are a team that can consistently beat other teams that have more talent. They don't get the same guys that Clemson and Florida State and Miami do, but they're still capable of pulling off an upset against any of those teams. We saw them do it against Clemson a couple years ago, and they're going to do it again just a matter of time. Pat Narduzzi gets the most out of his talent, and there's going to be a similar situation going on for them this year. Number 10 is running back Vincent Davis, rushed for 632 yards and six touchdowns. Narduzzi likes to run the football, and he's got his back in Davis. Number 9 is defensive end Deslin Alexander. With all the talent that they lose and the defensive line, Rashad Weaver, Patrick Jones, those guys, Alexander is stepping up into a bigger role, something that he's probably not super familiar with, but it seems that he's fit to be able to step up and be the next big-time player for them. Number eight is linebacker Chase Pine. Linebacker is a strength of the Pitt Panthers this year, and Pine is one of those guys that we're going to talk about. So 43 tackles last year, seven for loss. Pitt's the strength of the defense is going to be at that second level this year. Number seven, Jake Cradle, the guard who's going to come in and will come in. He's established already at 20 games of experience. And... Be able to run the ball, takes guys up front that can handle that, and Cradle's the guy that's going to lead the way in that regard. Number six, cornerback Marquise Williams. Last year he had two picks in a shortened season, and they lose on the defensive line and the defensive secondary. They lose a lot of talent, so guys like Alexander and Marquise Williams are going to step into bigger roles this year, that's for sure. Number five, linebacker Phil Campbell, like I mentioned, Linebacker is a strength of this team, and Campbell had 45 tackles last year, 8.5 for loss, 4.5 sacks. Going to be a factor on the edge. Maybe he helps out Alexander in that regard, but either way, they have options at linebacker for sure. Number four, wide receiver Jordan Addison. He was honorable mention all ACC as a freshman with 666 yards and four touchdowns last year. A guy who can be a big-time playmaker for this offense and for the guy that we're going to talk about next. Quarterback Kenny Pickett decided to come back for another season. He is a gamer, really. Uh, He's not going to put up the greatest stats. Last year, he threw for over 2,400 yards, 13 touchdowns, but he also threw nine picks. Again, he's he's capable of leading his team to an upset, but there's just it's not like he his ceiling is super high. Uh, it might be that he is a higher floor, low ceiling, uh, but still he fits in perfectly with what Pitt is trying to do. Number two, Cam Bright, the last linebacker that we're going to have. Oh, excuse me, not the last linebacker. So some of these guys, you can be, count them on the defensive line because they're going to be on the edge. So you, maybe you could call them an edge. Uh, Cam Bray's going to play more in the middle. We had 50 tackles last year, 7.5 for loss. So you can see these guys make plays in that opposing team's backfield. So that's a good thing. It's going to really do well, especially with the defensive line that's going to have new faces. And then the last number one, Servassier Dennis, had 14 tackles for loss last year, 13 all ACC. Uh, just a factor in the backfield. Like I said, they're going to make plays in the opposing team's backfield, and that's going to help them win those games that we talked about. They're going to be able to limit teams and disrupt what they're trying to do, and teams like Clemson, if they're able to do that, they're going to pull off an upset or at least make Clemson sweat a little bit more than they normally would. Pitt's not going to be a team that's going to contend for the ACC championship, but they're a team that can definitely be a headache for other other players, other teams, and it'll be interesting seeing what they can do this year.